Hello and welcome to Digging Documents Episode 2. My name is Alicia Stella and today we are talking about, well, mainly one really unusual patent from Universal. Uh, It was worked on by people in Orlando, and I even teased at the end of the first episode of Digging Documents, sorry, the name is lame, we're sticking with it, and it's so unusual. First of all, here's the, the first image in this patent. I have it open here on the side. Uh, no ostrich this time, unfortunately. Is It's for an interactive token system that includes one or more interactive tokens, such as an interactive coin. And you can see here in their main image on the front page. But it's a wearable device or at a station. Uh, and once it's engaged, the wearable device is able to wirelessly communicate with the interactive token, receive information from the interactive token, display information relating to the interactive token, and control actions of the interactive token and or use the interactive token as part of a game or trading interaction. And that's that's where this patent gets interesting, is that what is Universal, or what was Universal thinking when they wrote this up? Like, what were they planning? that they thought, you know what? We could have a system where people walk around with a, with a like a wristband or something and going around collecting tokens that you used as part of a game. Normally I come into these things and I'm like, oh, well that's for this or that's for that. And what's interesting about this one, look at that, <laughs> is that I, don't, I have no idea what this could be for. Uh, if you're new to this, we are going through the patent together to try to figure out how this could be used in the parks, if if they even are going to use this in the parks. Uh, this paragraph just essentially says it would be complicated to explain every possible use for this technology, but the current uh, explanation is for part of an entertainment experience for guests of an amusement park. The interactive token system includes collectible smart tokens that may be associated with different rides, different characters, or different narrative sections of the amusement park, providing an interactive accompaniment to a guest's itinerary within the park. Because each guest's itinerary is variable, the interactive token system and the guest's own collection of interactive tokens is personalized to the guest's preferences and experiences. One guest may prefer collecting interactive tokens that are associated with only the narrative section of the amusement park, while the other guests may enjoy collecting interactive tokens that show that the guest has visited all the areas of an amusement park. Well, that reminds me of the uh, the passports at Epcot around World Showcase for kids to get stamped, except you would collect a token from each area. Further, The interactive token system facilitates additional levels of guest-driven and guest-controlled interactions within an immersive experience. In an embodiment, and again, embodiment is usually used as in one example. In one example, certain subsets of interactive tokens may be considered to be rare or associated with special achievements, which may also be used as part of interactive experiences within the amusement park to unlock access to restricted areas. So now it sounds like the power-up bands to like get the bo- the Bowser Jr. boss battle in Super Nintendo World, where you have to earn your right to get to that experience. Um, and this you would collect a special rare token somehow to unlock an attraction. So let's get to the other image. Here, this is the the wearable with some examples of some tokens, just patent examples. So the images are just random icons. And in here, in this example, it shows it being worn on this person's arm. In operation, the interactive tokens display an image or series of images, like an animation, that are unique to the interactive token itself or unique to a particular type of interactive token. In other words, the token itself could display an image or even an animated screen. This this is a token here that can be inserted into the slot. 
Accordingly, each, we're going to go through this pretty fast now. Accordingly, each interactive token may have different characteristics that encourage collection for guests who enjoy having souvenirs. The interactive token includes an onboard display that permits the guest and any observers to review an interactive token collection for trading or interactive uses. The interactive token system may also include a functional holder for the interactive tokens, such as a wearable device worn by or carried by the guest that is capable of communicating with each interactive token that is placed within the holder to receive interactive token information or control the interactive token displays. In an embodiment, the interactive token system may also include interactive token stations distributed throughout a geographic area. Okay, that's a lot of words. At each station, a guest can remove an interactive token from the wearable holder and insert the interactive token into a slot of the station to unlock games or retail experience. So the kiosk is going to take your token and you no longer have it anymore. So bye-bye souvenir but you get to use it like an arcade. The interactive token stations may also facilitate upgrading or unlocking of hidden features of an individual interactive token. Now, it's talking about coins in this example, but it also says you can use interactive ships, cards, rings, rings, Sonic the Hedgehog. So we're going to get picture one here. Uh, And this is a theme park is what it says. The tokens may be associated with rewards that may be claimed in restaurants. Okay, that's the first time we've seen that. Or access attractions. So you could use one of these kiosks, insert a token, and gain access to a restaurant or gain access to an attraction. I mean, that's got to be depending on the token. You could use a token to bypass an attraction queue. It says it right there. I remember when the Disney Play app, they were when they were working on that, there was a rumor that maybe you could earn real physical prizes by winning the games in the app, or even win food items or or like percentages off of certain foods or snacks. And then there was a rumor that you could get fast passes. Like while you're waiting in line, you play a game. And then if you win the game or get a high score, you would get a fast pass to the ride you're waiting in line in, and you could just get out of line and go use the fast pass. That did not materialize, but it reminds me of this. Um, prizes you can win by playing the Disney Play app kind of did actually happen. Um, I remember if you got a certain score at the Peter Pan's flight ride, you would have the ability to purchase limited edition collectible pins that show your uh, that you achieved, the achievements you've unlocked in the app. But you had to pay for them, they're like $14 each. So you technically won a prize that you had to buy. And, but this is talking about similar things to that. So it's gamifying uh, uh, the theme park itself, but also maybe you could win or earn a way to get an express pass. And it also mentions multiplayer games that's similar to the Power Up Band and the Bowser Jr. game. It says it can um, mediate special effects such as water sprays, bubbles, or confetti at various locations throughout the park. Um, That is very similar to the Tapu Tapu at Volcano Bay, which would allow you to tap certain things and unlock like surprises like water sprays in uh, one of the interactive pools. Figure two is a schematic illustration of a wearable device, including interactive tokens. The interactive tokens may engage with corresponding slots. And it talks about how guests may select their preferred token type in a retail establishment. So if you like the way that they look, you can buy them to, to stick onto your wearable device because you like the way it, it looks. But also that means it could facilitate trading of interactive tokens. A wearable device may also include a digital interactive button I'm like, this says press to play here. The wearable device may include straps or other attachment features that may be detachable or reconfigurable so that the wearable device may be worn in a manner preferred by the guest, such as over the shoulder, as a bracelet or as a necklace. Sounds like a lanyard to me. 
And then it says if you you could have a set of interactive tokens that represent visiting all sections of amusement park and that may trigger a special feature or warn or some kind of special effect. Oh, next image. Figure three shows the wearable device and at least one interactive token. And it talks about how the processor would receive information. Engagement of the interactive token may activate power to the interactive token from a power source. The wearable device may also include one or more sensors, such as a pressure sensor, ambient light light sensor, accelerometer, inertial measurement unit sensor, etc., etc. So similar to a power-up band, it'll know if you're moving around or if you're in an upright position. Figure four is a flow diagram for operating the wearable device. And the token can also temporarily display a reward indication for an upgraded status in a ride or a clue that is part of an interactive game. Anytime it gets to something that's interactive game, it's interesting to me because you don't do something that's a wristband like this just for express passes or arcade tokens. It's gotta be something a little bit bigger than that. Um, Figure five is an interactive token station. It could include a post that houses the hardware and you can put a token into the slot to initiate a game on the display. For example, if the token is part of a particular themed environment, the interactive token station selects a game that has the same theme. The guest can interact with the game via inputs on the post, inputs on the display, or via the guest's wearable device. Further, the interactive token may be a character token and the guest avatar may be based on the character. The character you play as in this game might be based on the character you have on the token. That's cute. Certain games may permit multiplayer interaction with multiple tokens received in the slots. Based on the game outcome, the station may write to the interactive token to store new images or rewards on the game on the guest's interactive token or to increase a point total associated with the interactive token. So you get your token back. You insert it the same way you do on your wearable device. You put it in here temporarily, play the game, then take it out, put it back on your wearable device, and it accumulates score. Oh, this changes everything. When the gameplay is finished, the guest removes the interactive token from the slot and the interactive token station may display other park-related information, which just turns back into a kiosk. The interactive token station may also be configured as a retail space, a trading station, and or multiplayer gaming space as illustrated in figure six. Whoa. Wait, what is happening? What What is this? <laughs> What is, is that a drone? What is that? What are, what are they, what are they doing? <laughs> Guests who wish to battle one another in a game environment may use their wearable devices to control the movement of real world game elements. Illustrated here as an unmanned aerial vehicle. They're, they're fighting a game with a drone <laughs> in real space. Figure seven is a... You can't just skip over this. I want more info on this. (laughs) Figure seven is a block diagram of the system showing interaction between various components of the system. Communicate via Bluetooth, wireless communications, blah, blah, blah. The guests associated with the wearable device may have a user profile indicating desire to collect and or trade particular interactive tokens. The central controller may identify when another guest with wearable device having the interactive token of the desired type is within a present geographical distance you're going to walk by someone and be like hey 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 this guy has your token you should trade with him it alerts both guests who are instructed to proceed to the nearest interactive token station okay so they don't just meet with each other on the pathway they're they go to a station the interactive token station may mediate any potential trade and may award points to both guest profiles upon agreement of the trade. Oh, good job trading. Here's some points. This is so weird. <laughs> this is so weird. It's like collecting pins that are games that can get you real prizes or express passes, but also unlock attractions or front of the line access. I don't. Uh, water spray again. A high point total. The water spray may be larger 
So you go to spray people on a, on a water ride and you have a better chance of hitting them if you have higher points. If the interactive token is a villain character, a smoke or fire effect may be activated. Ooh. If the interactive token is a hero character, a bubble or light special effect may be activated. Ah. The interactive token station may serve as an access point to a restricted area and may permit access only for certain types of interactive tokens. And it talks about how they can do a lot more than what they're talking about here. And then how the technology works. But that is just wild. Just absolutely wild. And who knows if they're actually planning to do anything with this? Is it going to be in all the parks? Is it a section of the park? Is it all the park? Was it developed um, by like someone on the like as a side project and then they just patented for no reason? This was like published just last month, uh, but filed in June of last year. I, I don't know. Is this a hobby or is this a thing? Is it Pokemon? Is it, is it not actually tokens? Are they rings? Is it Sonic the Hedgehog? Who knows? But thank you for joining us on this episode of Digging Documents. I'm sorry about the name. It's two episodes now. It's stuck. We're, not, we're, gonna, we're gonna stick with it. Join us next time when we'll probably be talking about rides maybe. Yeah, we should talk about rides like the, the weird carousel patent or something else like a roller coaster. We, we, we'll see you then. Thank, thank you. Bye.